Welcome to KBO Chat Interviews. Join us as we interview some of the best apps that integrate with QuickBooks Online and learn how these apps are making life better for accountants and bookkeepers. Hey guys, this is Kathy Iconis with KBO Chat and I'm here with Yvette with SOS Inventory. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, How's it going? Why don't you tell us a little bit more about SOS Inventory? SOS Inventory is an inventory order management and manufacturing app and we integrate with QuickBooks Online. We were built from the ground up to have a bi-directional sync with QuickBooks Online. So we handle all of the inventory tracking along with being able to track assemblies and track inventory in multiple work orders. Um, just a wide variety of different things that we can do that bridges the gap between QuickBooks Online and um, SOS Inventory. Um, some of our um, really, our really, really good sweet spots are small to medium-sized businesses that are doing manufacturing, whether they're tracking tons of um, inventory in multiple locations, or all of just tracking inventory in just one location. So that is really our sweet spot that we're being able to help co customers with. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Um, I would say sales orders is a huge one for us. Being able to do partial shipping and partial receiving of items. Um, barcode scanning seems to be a really big thing that a lot of clients are asking for these days. In addition to doing, being able to do serial tracking along with lot tracking. Great. What kind of um, industries are doing the barcodes and, and that sort of, what use examples do you have? So um, we have a lot of food manufacturers. Um, as far as with the serial tracking, we have a lot of medical device companies that are reaching out to us and utilizing our products because they're wanting to be able to track the specifics of a um, particular um, item that they're using that they want to be able to do the, the serial tracking to, from start to finish. Um, we have a lot of car lots, believe it or not, who are reaching out. And so we're using their VIN numbers to use as far as serial number tracking and being able to track what's coming in the door versus what's going out the door. We have been really busy here with SOS. Um, we just launched in the end of last year our automated order processing or our AOP rules, which allows us to set up different rules within the system that will completely automate when you're starting a transaction from beginning to end, basically just initiate one transaction and it just kind of domino effects from there. Um, we have the ship station and the Shopify integration, which has been a huge piece for us as well, along with our customer portal. And the customer portal allows customers to sign in to check the status of an order that they process at any given time. Um, so, um, some huge things that I am really proud of, we've been uh, revamping our affiliates program. And what that does is um, we are now reaching out specifically to pro advisors and bringing them in and giving them one-on-one -on -one detailed training about SOS inventory. And the huge benefit of that is, is when we are referring those clients out to pro advisors, they now have the tools in their back pockets and they are better equipped and feeling more confident when having those initial conversations with those inventory customers and also being more confident as far as starting those implementation processes with the clients as well. SOS Inventory is an inventory order management and manufacturing app that is dedicated to QuickBooks Online. We have been in operation since 2009 and we are one of the highest rated apps on the Intuit App Center and that is across all product categories. We pride ourselves on providing fanatical support via both email and phone that is available 24 hours a day and seven days a week. We have the ability to offer assemblies where we can take raw materials and convert those to finished goods. We also allow barcode scanning where you can create your own barcodes or import your own barcodes. And some of our newer features include the automated order processing along with the customer portal and our newer integration points, which is Shopify integration and ShipStation integration. These are just a few of some of our outstanding features that you'll see here in our application today. This is the SOS Inventory homepage. During the initial synchronization from QuickBooks Online, all of the information in QuickBooks will sync over, such as your chart of accounts, your sales tax center, any customers, vendors, and existing transactions will automatically sync over and populate here into the SOS application. Once the synchronization is completed, you'll be brought here to the, the SOS Inventory homepage where you will need to go and set up your initial settings. 
Those settings can be found here under the gear where you'll see all of your settings that can be set in addition to any other integration points that you'll be using, such as EDI setup, Shopify setup, or ShipStation setup, setup in addition to your UPS setups. Once your integration points and settings are completed, you will be brought here to the Customer Administration tab where you can go in and set up all of your configuration points. As you see, we have several different configuration points that you can take advantage of to make sure we're meeting your different workflows. So if you have multiple locations you're tracking inventory, you can set up your different locations here. In addition to being able to track your different sales reps you may have out in the field that are using the system. And we also offer price tiers, a vendor item catalog, in addition to work centers if you're using our pro plan. Also here under the data tools, you'll be able to import any additional information that you need to import directly into SOS. And our bulk edit functionality allows you to make any mass changes to in any information that you need to at any given time. So if you're needing to update your quantities, your price, anything in addition, any, anything in regards to your customer list, vendor list, all of those items can be made um, updated to by using the bulk edit functionality. Once you've done all of your configuration points, now you're ready to start using the system. You can initiate transactions from the top SOS toolbar here or from the side navigational screen, which is what we're going to use today. Under the inventory tabs is where you can go and see a list of all of your inventory items. You can do any adjustments, make transfers between location if you're tracking inventory in multiple locations. You can also manage your serialized tracking and lot tracking. And our lot numbers also have expiration dates that can be used. Once your items lists are displayed here, you have the ability to go in and export those items lists via Excel or PDF. You can also um, do quick search here, and you can use our filter to filter through by location, by tags, by item types as well. If you need to add a new item, you can go here to add new and quickly add the details of your new item that you're going to be adding to your list. When you're needing to make a purchase, you can go here under purchasing and create your purchase orders. We support partial shipping and partial receiving of items. So if you have a purchase order that you've created and only part of your items are delivered, no worries your purchase order will remain open until all of the items are delivered and then at that point is when your purchase order will close. You also have the ability to go in when you're um, doing your purchase order. If any of your items are serial tracked or lot tracked, at that time is when you will add the serial number or the lot number to the desired item so that it is tracked from the time that it comes in the door to the time that it, that it goes out the door. Also here under purchasing, you can do a return to vendors where it will take the item out of inventory so that you re return it to your vendor for a refund or for credit. Under the production tab is where you can go in and do your builds for your items. So if you're taking your own material and converting that to a finished good, this is where you will initiate those transactions. So we're tra tracking raw material from start to finished goods and out the door. Also, we have the ability to track jobs and create work orders. As you see here under production, we also have process transactions. So if you're taking one item and you're going to have several outputs, then this is where you would initiate your process transactions. Our sales tab is our hub transaction to so many different workflows that you can create here within SOS. Under the sales tab, you'll see your customers list. We can also create estimates and email those estimates out to your customers. But your sales order, as I mentioned, is the hub. So under sales orders, we can do so many different things. The typical workflow would typically include create your sales order. From your sales order, once it is generated, you would create your shipment directly here from the sales order screen. The shipment is what will relieve the item from your inventory. And then you would immediately go in and create your invoice. Because from here, is where the invoice will automatically be generated and sync over to QuickBooks Online so that you can now be able to receive payment in QuickBooks once your customer pays that invoice. 
You also have the ability to go in and create a work order directly here from a sales order if it is an item that needs to be manufactured. And notice we can also create our jobs and purchase orders if we need to order on demand. Again, the sales order transaction, you can do so many different workflows directly here from the sales order screen. Also here under sales, we have the ability to create a standalone invoice in addition to creating a sales receipt. Your sales receipt is going to be created in a situation where you're having a retail situation or if you're on a trade show or if you have reps out in the field that are selling items on the spot and accepting payments on the spot. That's when you would be able to use your sales receipts. Although we can create the shipment directly from the sales order, you also have the um, option here to create a standalone shipment and you can also create your, ship, uh, your pick tickets here under the shipment or fulfillment tab. With our more transactions, you can create your returns here or again, from the sales order, you can initiate your return directly here from your sales order. And SOS also supports the ability to track rental inventory. And those transactions can be initiated here directly under the more transaction screen. And with everything that you've seen here today, you also have a report section that will track um, all of the reports for all of the different transactions. And if there's not a specific report here that you see that you need, you can create your own customized report by going here to the export data tool and create your own customized report. Also here you'll find under the quick links, you can set yourself up a to-do list, set up different alerts. Also, you can scan additional documents that you want to include to be emailed out to your customers or your vendors. And we also have a calendar. This calendar can be used to view any upcoming tasks, sales orders or purchase orders, or as you see, you have the ability to enable what you choose to be displayed on your calendar. And the same thing here for the dashboard. The dashboard allows us to see anything that we have in the pipeline that's coming down. So if we are only interested in seeing what's in the open sales orders, we can just enable sales orders and update the dashboard so that I only see anything as it relates to the sales orders. And the same thing here with the, per with the work orders. If I'm only working in the warehouse and I only want to see things as, a re as it regards to the work orders, I can just enable work orders. We also have embedded here within the application tools right here at your fingertips. So here under the help menu, you'll see that you have direct access to the user guide along with the video tutorials and also our how-to guides. We also have a frequently asked questions here that can be reviewed to answer any questions. And of course, at any given time, you can contact us directly here, again, from the embedded help tool that you'll see here in the SOS toolbar. And as far as our pricing, you will find it here on our website at sosinventory.com. You can also come here to start your free trial. And this is all of our three plans that we have. And as you are reviewing our website, please click on the detailed feature comparison as it will give you a detailed breakdown of the differences between each of the plans that you see here today.